done to my meals in minutes. That's not what I'm cooking. That's for something else. Wow, I wish you could smell this kitchen. It's divine. Welcome to my Meals in Minutes. Now, if you're a chefy type, if you're looking for something fancy, if you want um, push ingredients, uh, wrong place, go somewhere else. This is cooking for people that are knackered and can't be bothered and maybe don't even particularly like cooking but want to get something on the table pretty quick to shut everybody up. That's what this is about. I do nicer dishes elsewhere on the channel, but this is stuff from my store cupboard, easy peasy din dins. Okay, so I'm going to start with my chicken. I am making, I have found, hang on, don't stop the clock yet. These little things stand and stuff. Aren't they so cute? That sounds wrong. So cute. And you can do them sweet or savoury. You mm. could put cream and, and fruit. And they're just great for just scooping and eating. You can make a meal. I mean, the kids love it just as a full, as a meal. They just keep scooping and filling, scooping and filling, scooping and filling. So I'm using chicken. You can do exactly what I'm doing with beef. With the mince, with pork, mince, chicken, mince, beef, mince, lamb, or even vegan, something vegan. Really simple, just from the store cupboard, Cajun spice. I mean, I'm probably going to put about a teaspoon, but put as much as you like. As I say, this is a non... Did we start the clock? Mm -hmm. No. Oh. Start. Well, start okay. now. I've, started I've only done that. Yeah. So, so start now. Because all these meals are cooked in under 20 minutes. I reckon we'll do this one in 10 minutes. Okay. So we start the clock. So a teaspoon of powdered garlic if you prefer to use fresh garlic use it if you've got the time to chop an onion finely chop an onion do that instead but i'm just using a good teaspoon of onion granules i'm now going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil into the chicken i've got my pan um heating nicely you could if you want bung this in the bowl before you go to work in the morning and let it just sit and marinate, no problem. How hot's my pan? Okay, so my pan is on. So that was two chicken breasts cut up. Um, you can, uh, you, I would say it's two breasts per three people because you're going to have other things with this. So I'm going to put my chicken in, in my hot pan. If you want to overcook the chicken because it's chicken breast, because you're doing it quick, you can use uh, chicken thigh and cook it for a bit longer. And chicken thigh isn't as vulnerable as chicken breast, because chicken breast can dry easily. So I'm just going to put a little more oil. Don't have to, if you want to dry fry this, if you're watching the calories, you could even bash this out a bit and put it on a char grill and just flatten it out and just cook it really quickly and you'll get those nice... Um, you know, charcoal stripes on it. So the chicken is cooking, it will only take a couple of minutes. I've got some leftover rice. I'm going to put that into my microwave with a few of these for um, two minutes, but it will depend on your microwave. So in they go. You can, of course, use the bagged pre cooked rice that you've put in the microwave. I love it. Two and a half minutes that takes. Yeah, I'm going to put that two and a half minutes. Okay. So while that's cooking, chicken's nearly done. That's nearly ready. I won't, it will be, I will turn off the heat a little bit more so it can finish off cooking in the middle without too much heat. So I'm just going to turn that down now because we don't want it to get dry. It's really important that you get cut chicken into equal sizes. So if you're checking one bit to see if it's done in the middle, you know, they're all done in the middle. I actually bought this pre cut because I wanted something super quick. Okay, so I've now turned that heat off because the residual heat will cook, because it's fresh, will cook it enough. I'm going to add some salt. Oh my God, Mark, tell them how lovely that smells. Delicious, delicious. I might add, Mark will be eating this. He will love this. A little more garlic, yum. See how hot it still is. I'm just going to put a lid on like that and it will pat, that's off now the heat and the steam and the heat will carry on cooking it without drying it out. Next I'm just going to make a teeny 
bowl of super quick guacamole. Mm. This might be a bit too, oh, it's a bit too ripe. Okay, they feel a bit ripe. Annoying when that happens. It's so annoying. Um, okay, that's going to be ripe. Just take those little bruised bits out. Okay, so, you know, I make proper guacamole where I do lots of chopped coriander and chopped red onion and, you know, freshly chopped garlic and lots of lime and chopped tomatoes and maybe a little red pepper. But that for me is a weekend, not midweek when I'm tired. Just want to bung a bit of guacamole onto my, what are they called now? Stand and stand and stop. They're like little boats. I mean, it's awful, isn't it? Stand and stop. What a terrible thing. Right. It's not very zen, is it? Yeah. So I'm going to bung a couple of tomatoes in. You don't have to. If you don't like tomatoes, don't use them. Why do you only like small tomatoes? They're sweeter. Yeah. I don't like. I think, well, it depends where I am in the world. You know, big Spanish or Italian tomato. I love big tomatoes. I know you do, but they're tasteless. No, they're not. Okay, so there's a tomato, just roughly chopped. I'm gonna put some... Can you believe that dinner is almost ready? Great you wouldn't have even finished getting through to the takeaway. Right. Uber Eats should still be trying to pay. You don't have to add parsley. Another nice thing you can add, I always say, keep chives in the fridge, or even better, grow them in the garden or on the windowsill if you've got space, because they're really good for adding quick flavour, and all you need is a pair of scissors. <laughs> Super quick. Did I add salt? No, I must add salt. Salt. Lime, doesn't matter if you haven't got any lime. Another good idea is to keep some lime juice in a bottle in the fridge as well for things like this. And of course for margaritas. Okay, a bit of lime. If you're not watching your calories, a nice slug of olive oil in there would be nice as well. So, we've got our guacamole. We've got our sour cream. Okay, I'm coming. Got our sour cream. Uh, oh. Cheese. I love this Monterey Jack. American cheese I think it just I did some cheese on toast with it yesterday with pepperoni oh, so good. it's very mild and very melty oh sorry okay cheese you know we're done you know everything's cooked you know this is it as soon as the chicken's on the plate I'll stop the clock okay here we go Right, I'm going to come around there, tidy it all up. Oh. Okay. So, where is our chicken? You're about there it is. About six minutes. It's quick. Very quick. That lovely juice. Yeah. And that lovely way of just steaming it. Now I know that's cooked in the middle, but if you want to be sure, take the biggest bit if there was some, and just have a just, don't cut into every bit of chicken, let all the juice run out, it's horrible. It just ends up with dry chicken. But have a little chick, that's really, check, that's really soft and tender and yum. So how many minutes was that, Mark? Uh, six and a half. Six and a half minutes. Okay, let's serve it. Place is a bloody tip though. That's just what I will say, isn't it? Like a mini explosion. Yeah, but that's always the way I cook. Yeah. <laughs> You're like the Jackson Pollock at the I'm kitchen. very messy. I don't need to zero. <laughs> okay, hey. I don't need to zero in on cleaning it off. <laughs> it wasn't a close shot, babe. All right, so this is what we do here. You just, what's nice is you just put... Ooh. You just put in, oh, that's my sister in there. interrupt your timing. No! I've got to Please. ignore her. So, <laughs> no, because of the music. Ah! Yeah. Don't! Ah. Don't! 
Don't Change that effing ringtone. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's because we never edit these films. So, a little rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mark, you're breathing really heavily. Does this mean that you No, it's because it's an incredibly like it. heavy camera on the end of a tripod. <laughs> but yes, it also looks really nice. Okay, what should we put on next? I, I call them boats. They're like what do you boats. want to put on next? The chicken? Yeah, they look like little boats. A bit chicken. Yeah, they do, don't they? I keep poor being, thing. I keep I being said to breathing poor maiden. shamed. Yeah, you do breathe a lot when you're filming. No, I know, but maybe it's because I struggle with asthma. I know, but I'm just saying, you just sounded like excited breathing. I didn't know whether what, it was... What, like a dirty caller? No, no, to the chicken. <laughs> to the chef! <laughs> dirty caller. Okay. What um, did they used to be called when they'd ring up and just breathe? Heavy breather. Heavy breather. Oh, that was all in the 70s. and That was the 80s, I wasn't it? I was all nostalgic for that kind of hassle. Yeah. Right, there you go. But to tell you the truth, what I usually do, guys, is just put this big bowl in the middle, put a load of spoons in, and everyone helps themselves. But I'm just doing this little photo, really, for the gram now. For the what? The gram. Oh, God. I'm done with the kids, you know. Right, so then if you want, you can put a little sour cream, just a little dot. Ooh. So if you're timing it up until delivery, you're looking at 10 minutes. No, now. no, because I would just normally just, you'd serve it like that in the bowls. Ah, clever. No, no, you do, though, because the whole point <laughs> is people get to chew, put whatever right. they want on. So that really is... I'm just doing this so we've got a nice shot. Cheese. Oh, it does look tasty, guys, doesn't it? Subscribe if you haven't. See, like, our There's kids... There's more of this everywhere else on the channel. Our kids wouldn't want the cheese. They don't want the tomato and the avocado. So you go, there you go, love. Just put on what you want. But sometimes you can get a greedy person who takes all the chicken. Sriracha. Okay, a little sriracha. Seems to be this is the order of the day everywhere at the moment. Sriracha. If it comes out. Oh, sriracha is very popular at the moment. They must be multi billionaires, the sriracha. Sriracha people. There you go. I don't know what they're called, I can't remember. What did I call them? Stand and stuff. Would you like to stand and stuff? Don't forget, darling. You can't say that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more deliciousness like this. It smells really good. Stand and stop. Stand and deliver. Oh, oh, oh! Your money or your life.